road again. Yes, I'm on my way up to Northwest Arkansas again. Now, this one has a, this trip has a twofold reason. First off, we are bringing this beautiful, get her up here so she can see, this beautiful baby up to a sanctuary up here in Northwest Arkansas so that she can live the rest of her life comfortably and just be a sweetheart. And my daughter and this other girl were able to hook up with a sanctuary and so we're bringing her up uh, to have her best life that she has left. And my daughter who has recently started selling on eBay. She sold before, but now I think she wants to do it to earn a little extra money on the side. And so she came, I came with her. We're going to drop, what's her name again? Gracie. Gracie off. And uh, then we're going to head up to the Benz in Rogers. We may stop a couple of places before then, but uh, try to get through try to get through the Fayetteville Rogers traffic before 430. I think we can, depending on how long we have to wait at the sanctuary and everything. So, just wanted to tell you what we're doing on this trip, and when we find some goodies, we'll let you know. Hi guys, this is Lisa's Finding a Redo. I'm a 58-year-old retired school teacher who need to find a redo, and I found that redo by reselling used clothing, shoes, hard goods, <laughs> and making YouTube videos. Keep changing the camera, sorry, just ain't working. Um, as you saw by my intro, uh, my daughter and I went up to Fayetteville area, and so we thought, well, we're gonna go on up to Rogers and go to the Benz, and I stopped at another one of my thrift stores that I just love and um, picked up some items. But we're gonna start off with uh, my Benz haul, Sorry, you hear the beautiful clocks. So let's start off with my bins haul, okay? So this is just a cute little Oshkosh railroad striped um, overalls in, I uh, think like a, what size are they? They are girls, because they got that cute little ribbon. They're six months. And at first I thought somebody just like put that on there. But if they did, they're pretty darn good seamstress, okay? I'll probably list this for about $12 to $15 somewhere in there. But I just loved it. I, You know, it weighs next to nothing. And so, I had to get it. Okay, another item, and I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I actually thought they might be worth a little bit more. But, come to find out, they're not worth a ton. But they are really cute. And I may just, because they didn't weigh, they weighed about maybe five ounces. And I may put them in the Ray Lana sale because I think they'll sell. It'll be the fall sale. They've got a Sherpa lining, a faux Sherpa lining. So, you know, they've got Woody on the side. He's just so cute. So I may put him in there if I just... Then again, I may go ahead and list him. And if he sells them, if they sell before Ray Lana's, hey, I've made a little bit of money. If not, then I can wait till Ray Lana's and then take them off. Okay, the next pair of shoes was kind of... I thought, oh, these are beautiful. You know from afar and I thought hey I'm gonna get these these are L.L. Bean Sherpa line sneakers but I didn't take the rubber band off and when I did I don't know if the rubber band caused that or if it's already like that but this right here I'm still gonna list them I'm probably only gonna list them for like ten dollars but you know if they were in good shape I could get 25 to 30 off of them but I think I'll list them for $10, and somebody can maybe have a pair of sneakers, sneakers, slippers that they may enjoy. And you're seeing, I'm just pulling all this stuff from over here. This next pair is a pair of Nike, and these are the Flywires, is that right? The Trainer, I'm sorry, it's the Trainer. And these are a size 13. There's only one pair of this colorway, the black and white, that sold, and it was new, and it sold for $139, so I don't expect to get that. But what I do expect to get is somewhere the 40 to 75 that the other the other, other colorways were getting. It's a great size. It's hard for people that wear a 13 to, to find 
cool shoes. So, you know, I'll probably start it off around 75, 65, 75, and see what I can get. I can always reduce the price, but you can't ever increase the price after somebody buys it. Okay. And like I said, I got all these, and I'm going to tell you how much, my beautiful clocks, tell you how much I paid for each of these items. Now, this pair of Crocs, again, they had issues. The issue with this one is there is no insole, okay? So I don't know what they'll sell, um, but again, I was in a hurry. My daughter was finished looking. She's just getting started at this and she does not like clothes at all. She just likes hard goods and stuff. So um, I was trying to hurry. I did miss this. I, I think I could make $10 back on them. Again, cover my cost of goods for sure. Okay, next pair of shoes and I just kept the rubber band. If I had a rubber band, which don't you like it when you're at the bins and they put things in rubber bands. So much easier to find them. This is a pair of, can you see, Sperry <coughs> uh, Top Sider duck boot, I mean duck shoes. Really nice condition. Uh, these are, I can't remember. Let me see. Let me untie them real quick. Oh, they're double knotted. Let me see. I don't know why I double knotted them back because I took them apart, because after, especially after that finding. These are a men's 10. So again, another great size. I should get somewhere between 20 to $25 for these. Okay. These are a pair of J Johnston and Murphy um, shoes. If you've never, this is what? The J&M. These 1850. These are sheepskin shoes. But if you notice, they need some loving. I haven't done anything to these shoes. The bottoms are not bad. They're not great, but they're not bad. Um, so after I clean them up with some Doc Martens and everything, maybe, maybe, I don't know, I may have to put a little shoe polish and do some buffing on these. But, you know, they're a size, again, a size 10. So great size. Just got to give them some loving and get them back to a good position. When I do, they should get me about $25. And if I'm a little bit up on them. You can kind of vary what I'm saying anywhere between like 10 to 25%. Okay, these are a pair of shoes I had never seen before. Now, they didn't have any laces, but you know, that's not any problem putting laces in shoes, and I always pick them up. The one problem these do have is this right here. But after looking at comps, ones that looked a whole lot worse than these were going for $35, $40. So I'm thinking I'll probably list them around 50 and hope to get, hope to get $35, $40, even with that. Now I'll clean them up and everything and hopefully get a lot of that off, but I just don't know. They're in great shape. Other than that, you see the inside, bottoms, but, oh, I didn't even tell you what they are. They are these are Clark's Originals, and they're called the Weaver. Um, so, just give me a, some shoelaces, and I'll be in business. How many of you pick up shoelaces at, like, thrift stores or at the bins? You know, if you see a pack of shoelaces, I pick them up anytime I see them, because you never know when you're going to need them. Also, Dollar Tree has a great deal, like on tennis shoe laces and stuff like that wonderful deal on those so you know anytime that you're needing laces just go pick some up or have them already in your stock and that'll work okay the next pair of boots is a pair of um these are spare no these are sorrel why did i say spare can you see in there yeah you can kind of see the little bear these are sorrel duck boots um when i saw them they looked great i thought Ooh, $70, $80. No, the duck boots don't do as well as the hiking boots and stuff, but I still should be able to get $30 to $40. And anytime, if I tell you a price and you're like, hey, I just sold a pair of those and I made $20, or I just sold a pair of those and they went for $60, let me know. I'd love to know that info. Um, these are a, a men's size eight and a half. So a women's like 10, 10 and a half, so a great size. Maybe not for men as much as for women. I've got a bunch of shoes over here. And when I tell you how much I paid for all this, you're gonna just flip. You're gonna flip. 
Okay, the next item is a pair of, sorry, Strike Force bowling shoes. Okay, and these are a size 12, men's 12, and these go somewhere between $25 and $35. And I have two pair. This is this is the first pair, like I said, a size 12. Now the next pair is a size is a smaller size. Let's see, I can't remember what it is. A little bit different style. These are a nine and a half. Um so I don't know, maybe a, a woman wore them or just a smaller man, but it's you know odd that they should be together. These are in great shape, but you notice they've got this here and then they've got the slide there. So great shoes again. You know, I hope to get good money from both of them. And they're both in what I can tell. Oop, I put one of each. Sorry. There's one of each. But they're, uh, <laughs> I don't know why I did that. But they are great shoes. I hope. Never sold them before. Okay, the next was, I need to take my daughter looking all the time. Because I found these and it was like, Danny, I need to find this other. These are BOC, which is a born shoe. And these are a black wedge uh, sandal. They should go between, say, $15 and $25. They are a little heavier. They will have to go priority. Sometimes I can get my born shoes in a, in a um, first class. But these are definitely heavy. And so I should get 15 to 25 on those. I didn't, okay, when I did, when I was looking for comps, they didn't have any just like that. They had the cork bottom, so it's kind of hard to compare. Um, I didn't go through Terapeak, and I didn't try Sell Hound. I just did uh, eBay that day, but I still think, you know, I should get 2025. okay? This is another pair of items that I couldn't find the match for. My daughter came over there and took like two seconds. These are Torrid. And these are the wedge boots, ankle boots. These are going, um, and it's not the greatest time. So there wasn't that many comps and I didn't run Terapeak. But these are going from anywhere between $15 to $35. And they are a size 11 wide. So a great size for someone with a larger foot. So that is a great, great pickup I felt like. Okay, next pair is a pair of Allegria, and I don't know if these are, I don't think these are the insoles for them. They're called Crown Vintage. I didn't really do any research, but they are Allegria. They are really cute shoes, and I should get somewhere between $20 and $25, and they are like a fisherman sandal, and they have a name, and I can't think of it now. But they're in great shape. I mean, very little cleaning up I'm going to have to do. Just a quick little kind of run over with a toothbrush or with a magic eraser. Okay. The last pair of shoes that I got at the bins was these Minnetonka Men's Driving Loafers. Okay. These are moccasins, driving mocks. Great shape. They are, let's see, what size did I find? I may have to put the glasses because it's dark, dark on dark. 11 and a half. These are 11 and a half, great size, great condition. Um, so I hope to get between 25, well, let's say 20 and 35 for those. Okay, so those were all the shoes that I got at the bins. I did get a couple of uh, clothing items there and I, I was going to shoot part of this from back away and part of this from up close. And then I remembered I got, I'm going to shoot the the uh, thrift store I went to. I'm going to shoot it farther away. But I'm going to push this away just a little bit so that you can get a better idea. These are gorgeous. I mean, these are gorgeous. I don't know, do not know anything about them, but this is by far my favorite Fine, but these are some sort of vintage military pant with the button fly, which indicates it was probably World War II. Um, I've got to do some research. This this information there might help. I really just don't know if anybody knows anything about. I mean, these are beautiful. 
flat pockets in the back. Just, just beautiful. So if anybody knows anything about them and wants to help me, um, I don't, don't have any idea what kind of numbers on that. But when I saw them, they went immediately in my cart. Don't you just love it when you find a beautiful piece like this? I mean, you know, yeah, it's not for everybody. But that's a beautiful vintage pair of pants. Beautiful. Sorry, I keep saying beautiful, dog. Okay, the other item, uh, another clothing item I got for my daughter. It says WAG, a dog's best friend, and she has five rescue dogs. She, she has a heart for animals. She really does. And she's recently left her job and has gone to a different job with a little less stress. My daughter has uh, a form of autism. She has what we used to call Asperger's. Very intelligent, she has a college degree. It's just hard on her. And so um, there was a lot of interaction among people and everything at the dog shelter. And so she's going to back to work at a previous place. But I hated that she left these animals because she really does have a heart. That's why we took that dog up to Fayetteville. She spent her own time her own gas money, well, my gas money, but she spent her own time to take this dog up there so it wouldn't be euthanized. So, she really does have a heart, okay? Another pair of, uh, another item that I got, I'm trying to see what, how many more, was a pair of carrots, and these are riding pants, English riding pants, equestrian, in great shape, in a good size. What did I find out? They are a size large, great size. Usually when I find these English riding pants are a size extra small or small, but I always pick up riding pants. You know, I hope to get, uh, I hope to get 20, 25. I'll settle for 15. <laughs> they don't weigh much. Let's see if I got anything. Oh yeah, I got a couple more things. Okay. I got these cycling pants. These are by Terry. These are in great shape. I don't know, I mean, you know, the inner padding is in great shape. I don't know that they were ever worn very much, but they are the longer cycling shorts. Great padding by Terry. Um, Terry's not the biggest, most expensive brand, but I still should be able to get somewhere 15 to $20. And is that it? I think that may be it. Yep, that's it. Oh, no, I lied. This. <laughs> this I got for myself. Usually I find several things at the men's, but... You know, I wasn't in the mood to dig for clothing, and I knew that she didn't have a lot of time, and I knew my best profit margin was in shoes, and they have a great, I don't know if people up there just don't shop, uh, shop for shoes, but they do always have great shoes. But I got this, I love to grill during the summer. It's a very heavyweight, I don't even know what the brand is, but it's a heavyweight pair of tongs that while I will enjoy turning steaks, or hot dogs, or ribs, or whatever's there. So I got that for myself. So that's what I got from the um, bins. You wanna know how much I spent on all of that? Now you take and consider, I bought every bit of that at the bins. Everything you've seen, I bought at the bins. I'm getting my little, my little notebook. And this is what I keep in my car. And it puts, I put my receipts and everything in there. And uh, record how many items that I purchased with that receipt, because it doesn't always show, because sometimes they'll combine, but I spent $19.80 on all of that. All of that for $19.80. Now, I don't even know how many items, and I'll count them, and I'll put them right there. But $19.80 on all of those shoes, the few clothes I got, those tongs, the baby overalls, I mean, all of that. $19.80, so I'm very pleased, very pleased. Now, I'm gonna shoot the second half of this video standing up because I wanna show you the clothes that I picked up at the thrift store. And I know it's like, even with those, it's kinda of hard to see when I'm up close. And I've had a couple of viewers tell me, we can't see all your items, we wanna see all your items. Perfect sense. So, the second half of this video, I'm gonna stand up and show you the rest of the items that I got at the thrift store. Okay, first off, sorry for all the clutter. I had really good hauls last week or so. And unfortunately, my dining room has become a storage room for the time being. Um, but I wanted to let you know, this is the second half of my video. 
This is where I went to the shelter shop in Rogers, Arkansas, and it is helps to um, take care of battered women. Um, so it's a wonderful shop. I spent $19.58. Uh, they do charge tax there. Um, I don't know why some in Arkansas charge tax, but like Goodwill, Salvation Army, they don't. I don't know. Okay, let's start off with a couple of non-clothing items. This is a pair of Robert Zur driving mocks. They were marked $8. They were half price, so $4. I had never heard of that brand. Never heard of that brand. I should get somewhere between $40 and $50 for these. I mean, I got to get these listed now. Okay, great shoes, um, size, uh, yeah, I can't read it. Size, still can't read it. I think it says eight. <laughs> but I need glasses. So, wonderful pair of shoes. The other item that I got were these hangers, and I should have bought more. Why I didn't? They were 50 cents each, and there are 20 children's hangers. And whenever I go to Ray Lana's um, sales, everything has to be on a hanger. So any kids clothes, little kids clothes I have, have to be on a hanger. Why I didn't buy more? 20 hangers for 50 cents. Sometimes, sometimes. Okay, so let's start off with our clothing items. All of these clothes were a dollar. Were a dollar. They were having a big sale. This is a cute hoodie from uh, the Disney parks, Walt Disney World, it is. That's usually, I try to pick up Walt Disney World or the Disney parks unless it's just really cute because these sell better. Um, this is a size large. Maybe not right now it's gonna sell, but I'll list it and it'll sell when it's supposed to sell. So another more wintry item is mine. You're like, I didn't get anything but those tongs from the bin, so I did get this. This is very oversized. I may not keep it very long, but I'm really not native Arkansas. I'm really native Alabama, but I still liked it. And remember, all these clothes were $1, okay? Just a cute little um, Florida Gator shirt. Kind of like the um, Spirit Tees. Uh, not exactly, but I love the, um, yeah, this is by Stadium Athletics. Um, but I like the bling on the back. Real cute little shirt. Um, somebody may, you know, I don't know. The next item is also more, all four of these items are more of a um, fall wintery. But these are just really pretty. This is a Villa Milana. Villa Milana. Decent comps. Um, not sure what I can get. I hope to get between 20 and 25. That Florida Gator shirt, 15 to 20. I'm keeping the native hoodie. And what was the first? Oh, the Disney. I hope to get, keep cutting off my head while I walk forward. Hope to get 20 um, to 25. This next is mine also. <laughs> I just love it. Unless it sells for a bunch and then I'll Get rid of it, but I have to put this on. Isn't, don't you just love it? I do, I just love it. And you might see it in the near future in a video, because I just love it. But it is John Mark is the name of the brand. I don't know anything about it. It is uh, linen, so you know how much I love linen. It's in beautiful shape. She brought it out on a rack, and I thought maybe all the... I would have paid whatever. I would have paid whatever price it was. You know, use, I think their prices are like $3.99 for a top. And I said, oh, okay, are these the regular prices? She said, no. Through the sale, everything we bring out new, it doesn't matter. So I paid a dollar for this. I just love it. If it's worth a lot, I'll sell it, but I may have to wear it for a while. Okay. This is a pair of swim trunks for my grandson since I bought too big of swim trunks for him before. And these are a size, let's see, medium by Gap Kids. So real cute um, 
They may be a little big for him right now. They won't be as fast as he's growing. He's five, his dad's seven foot, mom's 5'10". He just, he's gonna be a big kid and he's, he's a big kid. Okay, this is a pair of L.L. Bean women's hiking shorts, real cool. Uh, just very nice uh, fall and, winter and spring. You know, but we need them for the summer too. They're in a size four. We say we're my size. I would definitely have kept them. I keep moving forward, don't I? Sorry. Okay. This is a Isabel maternity top. And I, you know, so many times maternity tops and everything are kind of dowdy. You know, they're just not the cutest in the world. But I thought this was too cute. Great for someone who's pregnant during the summer. Um, those Ella Bean shorts, I hope to get 15 to 20. This shirt, I hope to get 15 to 20 also. Most of my clothes, I can get 15 to 20. Every once in a while, it's lower than that. And every once in a while, it's more than that. But I'm a bread and butter seller. These are some J. Crew denim animal print pants in a size 29. So a great size beautiful shape i hope to get 20 to 25. okay this is a pair of chico's and these are a size 0 0.5 and i think that is a small i think but nice maybe a medium nice elastic waist i may send these in to thread up because they're in such good shape um i don't know after i run comps but if i do sell them probably 15 to 20. okay i do have a couple of pair of jeans these are for my granddaughter these are justice plus um same same parent so she's a big kid um so Definitely, um, hopefully my, hopefully she'll like that. And then my last pair of jeans, yeah, my last pair, sorry, is a pair of CP jeans. I didn't realize that Dillard sold these. Let's see, let me get to, where did I, find, oh yeah. Exclusively designed for Dillard. So I have a pair of CP jeans that I'm gonna go back and put Dillard's on this. They are new with tags really cute distressed raw hem and they are a size three so yeah i'm gonna go back and add uh, dillard's to that other pair of cp jeans i don't know that that'll sell them any better but it does make people think oh these were sold at a nice nice department store and then my last item fell down when i picked up these jeans last item it was in the dresses and dresses were not on sale and uh Kids' clothes were, men's and women's clothes. I didn't find, well, I found that native sweatshirt in the men's, but this is a Fabletics, Fabletics, cute little throwback dress, okay? And, what, and she said, she counted, she said 13, $13. And so she was telling, <coughs> She was adding up how many items I had, and I had 12 dollar items, and um, she told the lady 13, and she counted this one. I said, oh, no, no, that's not a, that's not a um, top, that's a dress. It was on sale. It would have been, um, I think the dresses were $5, and it would have been 25% off, so it would have been, um, you know, three seventy-five. dollars but she's like, oh, it looks like a dress to me. I said, no, I don't want to, I don't want to do anything she said no you've been a wonderful customer and i bought i go there every time and i talk to the ladies they're such nice people i hated to take money from um, a worthy cause but she was determined it was a top so whatever <laughs> so i want to thank you for watching these videos i had a great time with my daughter and we saved a precious little doggy and made money to cover our expenses going up there she bought several things um, and I was just happy to spend that time with her. She's, like I said, starting her new job tomorrow, and I just wanted to spend time with her. 
So I appreciate you watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more hauls, if you want to see more unboxings, which I'm going to do a couple more this afternoon, film them. Hopefully they'll be out in the next few days. Um, if you want to see what my numbers are, if you want to see what souls, then hit the subscribe. But I need you to do me one favor today. I need you to go out and find your redo.